This is Ralph Irvin outside the J.D. Morgan Center and besides the UCLA Athletic Department, you'll also find the UCLA Athletic Hall of Fame and they're pleased to present the John Wooden Den. What we wanted to do uh, is really bring something to the UCLA campus that other people who have known Coach Wooden or played for Coach Wooden got the ability to see, but uh, you know those are the only insiders who actually saw it. So the unique thing about this is that we brought his actual living room here to, uh, to the exhibit, which was really special. We had talked for two or three years uh, about uh, uh, memorabilia and everything from coach's house and den that, that there would come a time that, uh, uh, that that we would like to have some of that here at UCLA on campus somewhere and then uh, after coach passed uh, we talked with Nan and Jim again uh, just about the value of having uh, some of his memorabilia here on campus and that we would like to have it here in the Hall of Fame and uh, then internally we started talking about how to display it and all and uh, Ken Weiner and our facilities staff did a great job of, uh, of uh, creating uh, the John Wooden Den here in our Hall of Fame. What we did is we actually went out to Coach's Place, we videotaped, we documented everything in photos and uh, Emily Greer, who's our curator at the Hall of Fame, uh, put the exhibit together in the exact fashion of his, uh, of his living room and den. So it's, it, was, it's a, it was a great project. When this project was brought to me, it was explained, like, we want to recreate his den exactly. So I was very thorough in labeling things and, you know, but it's also an exhibition, so you kind of get the idea in the display that he sat here, he lived here, and we brought the actual room to the Hall of Fame. I think the people that had been in his den, that had actually visited there, uh, those that have seen uh, the finished product here, uh, it's just uh, uh, almost breathtaking when they, when they see it for the first time. And for people that have never seen it, uh, their reaction to is, is uh, uh, one of awe, because you, just, you can just envision him sitting there at his desk or sitting in his chair and and to just uh, to be able to experience that and to know the legacy that he's left for us and to uh, have a little piece of, of his home and of his uh, personal life, uh, his spirit certainly lives on at UCLA. And I think having the den uh, for people to come in and see just helps keep that spirit alive. This is him. This is how he wanted to see the world. He pretty much, you know, has all the items that he cared about and anything anyone ever gave him. and his grandchildren's plates with the scribbles on them are pretty much as important as all the amazing awards he's won. You know, I, I love just seeing his desk there in the bookcases behind it because I've seen him sit at that desk so many times and autograph pictures and uh, turn around and pull things out of his file cabinet and pull a book off of the shelf and, and to walk in and see that. And uh, you just feel like you're in his den with him, you know, and so that, that's really special to me. He has this little wishing well full of all these keys to the city, and he has 12 to 15 keys of different cities. I thought that was pretty cool. He has the Bellarmine Medal, which was won by himself, Mother Teresa, and Walter Cronkite. I think that one's pretty impressive as well. Moving that den here, uh, not, in, not in pieces, but actually as, as a whole, is really the moving part of it. People who have been in Coach's Den, uh, who sat with him in that area, uh, when the family first uh, saw it, uh, they were touched. Everyone knew this is this is the, this is what what you felt when you were in his presence. And I think we did a great job of bringing that here and allowing everyone to, to get a little bit of that. Of course, the best news and notes on the UCLA athletics and all the information you need on the UCLA Athletic Hall of Fame. Get it all right here, UCLA Bruins.com.